Jan, in terms of players who are in the prime of their career, has there ever been a bigger signing in the Bundesliga, in your opinion? I think I have to go back to 77, Seb. They, they signed Kevin Keegan, the Hamburger Sportsverein. He was in his uh, top, top notch and playing the Europe, Europa final for, for, for Liverpool. And maybe we've forgotten someone. They've signed, re-signed some German international going to Italy. But this is a big move. This is a statement move from, from Bayern Munich. And I've been criticizing Salah Hamizic. I've been criticizing Oliver Kahn because I think there's a lot of things they've done. But this signing, well, you can put your age into it, but this is a fantastic player for them. Uh, and a player who wanted to go to Bayern. I just read a, a big article today in, in, in the German, German media where they were going through this. And Mané more or less went into the first meeting and, and, and he said, you had me by hello. I want to play for Bayern Munich. If that is something to do that he played in Salzburg, he knew German Bundesliga, I don't know. But that a player like this, uh, playing for, for Liverpool, a player of the improved, being a part of these three attackers at Liverpool, go straight to Bayern Munich, that is uh, some uh, race-me-up kind of signing for Salah Hamisic. Uh, Jan, we it's know... It's not a good strategy to get a few extra quid, is it? No, you don't like it? <laughs> no, I mean, Jan, it's not a good strategy to get a few <laughs> extra shekels, you know, to go in and say, oh, yeah, well, oh, you've got me, I want to sign. <laughs> be like that. Not, a, not a very hard negotiator there? No, not really. <laughs> um, look, so we got, we got Sadio Mane coming in. We know that that's a guarantee. We don't know that Lewandowski will leave, but let's assume that he does. Uh, how does that change the style with which Bayern will play next season? You no, know, it's interesting because they can then end up. Uh, I tried to put up a possibly starting lineup. Uh, you could play Mane as an in and out striker, as they call it. Müller can hide, have some of that same uh, uh, same position. And with Coleman and Sane on the sides, uh, or Mane can go out there. So if they don't go for a number nine, there, there is, I understand now they won't go for the Stuttgart player Kalajic because they feel that with Shopo Matang they have the, the second option. And, and, and then you have a team with Goretzka and Kimmich, like the number six, that is world class. Uh, and then you see Matraoui, who came from um, uh, from Ajax. He, I don't think Pavard will get so many games this season. The French international and Gravenbrech, uh, the other guy that they took from from uh, Ajax, will have trouble to get into that team. But always, like I'm, I'm a part of the number nine union. I think that mm -hmm. uh, the football of 2022, and you see that with even Pep Guardiola says that my team will be better if I get the number nine. So I still think that Bayern Munich will miss that player. There will be games that uh, Mane and Müller won't be enough in that number nine kind of position. Sadio Mane is a number nine. What do you think? Well, he did it last year for uh, Liverpool. He floated around. He was When Roberto Firmino lost his form, Klopp had to adjust. Obviously, they signed uh, Luis Diaz in January. He was brilliant. That gave him another option. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a different way of playing. And I suppose... If you haven't got the right options around you, then then you have to adapt to the system. And I'm sure Nagelsmann is a young coach and a, a much vaunted young coach uh, will we'll cope with that. So yeah, I don't think it's going to it's going to weaken Bayern to an extent not having a 40 plus whatever it is goals. However, I still think they're going to be heavy favourites, Sebi, for the Bundesliga. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.